guys, welcome back to my channel. I spent all afternoon and evening last night canning the peaches behind me here. Um, I didn't record it, but it's a very simple canning recipe um, that I looked up online, just in a simple syrup, basically. Um, and then I cold pack the jars and process them for 25 minutes, according to the blog that I read. So that is some the peaches that I bought the other day. Um, the number two peaches. So now I have some nice peaches that my family can enjoy for the fall and see how long they last us. They are, they are, um, the fruit rose to the top. I believe they call that fruit float. Um, and from what I've read and understand is that it doesn't affect the quality or the safety of the canning. Um, it's just not desirable for whatever reason. Haven't done my research yet, but regardless, it was a success. I only had one jar that didn't seal properly, so we'll just eat that one right away. Um, today, however, I have planned, today I've got planned to process my apples. So my apples that I have in this box here, we are going to process them um, before they start to go bad. Well, that's the plan anyways. I plan to make some apple butter, apple pie filling and maybe some, excuse me, applesauce. Those are all things that our family will enjoy. Um, I might even freeze some apples for, um, I don't know what I was gonna freeze it for. Oh, fruit leathers. Oh, I think I might, oh, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make some fruit leathers. So that's another, um, tasks that I'll do at the same time while I'm processing them all. So I'm going to get my kids involved, get them to help me peel the apples and pro and prepare them and all that and I uh, will record so you guys can watch. I'll bring you along for that. Um, and then if I have time, I'm also going to process these tomatoes that I got from the local grocery store in the Imperfect Produce section. I got a three pack of tomatoes for 99 cents. That's a really good deal for around here where our how, our, how much our groceries cost. So I've got three packs of tomatoes. I'm hoping I can get two jars of sauce out of it. Um, and if I do, that's a win. Three dollars for two jars of sauce. That, that's, a good, that's a good deal. Um, yeah, so that is the plan for today. So I do plan to um, store these in my roots. No, what do I have? It's a cold room. I'll show you my cold room. I'm slowly starting to um, add to it. I've canned in the past, in years past, and I haven't done it for a long time. So I'm excited to sort of fill up our pantry cold storage with things that I preserve myself. Um, part, partly for a little bit of food security, um, for some of the uncertainties in the world. Partly just out of pure, um, enjoyment of it and satisfaction of having a stock pantry. I've always been one to have a stock pantry. So regardless of the state of, you know, affairs of the world um, and everything around us, I still have always liked to have a stock pantry. So that's nothing new to me and my family. Um, but there's definitely more, I would say, of an urgency or a feeling of needing to, or it being wise to be prepared. So feeling the need to prepare my home for my family um, because it's just a, a wise thing to do for any sort of circumstance, regardless of what happens. The price of things goes up, um, food shortages, which are things that we are seeing. Um, I don't want to live and make choices based out of fear, but I do want to make choices um, out of uh, wisdom and being prepared and I believe that that is only wise to think about those sort of things. So anyways, um, that's the plan today. I will bring you downstairs to show you my little cold storage room. When we bought this house, the um, old owners had been here for obviously a long time and previous to them, I believe even there was another owner. This house was built in the 70s. Um, so in our basement, we have a cold storage room that has shelves so it looks like they used to store all their canned goods down there in the past. So I'll take you down there and show you what I have 
and we'll put these down there with it to add to the collection. Boys, yeah. you're gonna help me bring my peaches downstairs in a minute? Go shower? Yeah. What? Another thing I'm gonna do today is organize my um, bowls and such. I have this cupboard up here that has all sorts of, um, I would say it's like outdoor patio entertain entertaining platters and such. I have another closet over here that has some other serving dishes, some more seasonal stuff, and some table linens and such. So I'm going to redo these spaces, reorganize them. Organizing is something that I find extreme enjoyment in. That's just me. Um, so I'm going to plan to reorganize this cupboard and make it so that I have all my serving dishes in one, the ones that are just purely for Christmas and Thanksgiving and, and special occasions in this closet. And stuff that I use more on a regular basis, I'm planning to find some storage in my kitchen for. I still have to organize and figure out the best scenario because when we moved here, you unpack your kitchen and you just kind of put things where you just find a home for them quickly without you know taking the time to really think it through obviously because you need to just unpack boxes and get back to living your life um, so now I plan to do a little bit of rearranging in my kitchen find a home for these new beautiful bowls I found at HomeSense and um, my other certain just because um, since I have a little bit more time these days I'm planning on hosting more family get-togethers and dinners with friends because I do love um, hosting and making food for people. So that is my plan and I will bring you guys along. Good. What are you guys doing? <laughs> this is my life. No, it isn't. We're two boys. There's no school today because the queen died and now we have a national holiday or um, yeah, I guess you call it a holiday in Canada. So we got another um, day to remember. So these little rascals are home for the day. No, yeah. Dom, let me see your cute little face. <laughs> you don't want to be in the video? I don't want to. Okay, bye bye. So we're back out in the greenhouse and I just wanted to show you what I'm using to store my seeds. Um, this is something I saw on YouTube, another YouTuber. They use these to store their seeds and keep them organized. So I thought I would show you what I have here in my greenhouse. Um, so what I have here for my seed storage is a photo and craft keeper that I got from Michaels. Um, I'm in Canada, so I don't know if they have Michaels um, where you all are watching from, but Michael's is like a craft store that we have here, at least in BC, Canada. Um, so anyways, I got this, this is $25. It's got all these different compartments. So, each one, each one I can put in different seeds and I can organize them different into different categories. So there's, how many are there, I think? There's 16 different um, individual cases like this. So this will help me organize my seeds and then I'll be able to see what I have, keep them and store them properly because in the past, I haven't done that. So here's some of my seeds that I plan on organizing. I thought I'd pop on here and fill you in um, what I'm doing little behind the scenes um, and it's obviously not very exciting. But my plans for the day are still in the on the back burner. So I'm hoping that I can get around to um, canning some apples or preserving some apples. Um, if not, the apples aren't gonna go bad anytime soon, so that's good. So I'll have a bit of a window of grace for that. So I feel like I should be doing something or could be doing something, it's a beautiful day outside. I have a whole bunch of projects that I want to do around here. Um, 
and bring you guys along for. And my dogs are howling outside because there's sirens. Oh. Good news. Um, I have two fireplaces that stopped working after our, the gas company came and changed out our meter. They couldn't light two of our fireplaces. We have five in this house. I know it's a lot, but they're all gas. Um, for another various reason. And he said to possibly just change out the batteries on the starter that starts the pilot light or something. Anyway, so I did that, but I think my, some of my batteries were old, so it still wasn't working. But I got brand new batteries from, um, from the store. Tried it in one of my fireplaces up here in the um, office, and it's working. Got the pilot light to light, fireplace is working, so that's awesome. Um, I just gotta go try and do the same thing downstairs, um, because that'll save me like $200 probably. Um, or more um, after having the service technician come out. So hopefully I can get that uh, checked off the list and then I call and cancel that appointment because uh, who wants to spend any extra money right now for no reason? Not I. It's a win. Today's been a win. So I think I should look at it that way. Although I'm having technical difficulties. Um, I got my fireplace working, one of them anyways. Found the gerbil. The boys are doing some fun parkour sort of camp today because there's no school. And um, I put some makeup on my face. That's a win. So, you know, I didn't get around to all the things I wanted to do, but there's still lots of hours left in the day. And while I'm waiting for my computer be to be done, once it's finally done, I'll be able to uh, perhaps do some other things. So let's see where I get to today. Thanks for listening, guys.